Hello, everyone, and uh, hopefully this session will be helpful today. This feature I'd like to show is pretty straightforward and simple. So we'll take an opportunity to learn a little bit more around it. Okay. So uh, the most amount of value which you will get from uh, using API calls in your end-to-end -end test in test trigger is then you use API calls as a part of end-to-end -end test, which includes UI steps as well. So this is uh, where test trigger provides the most value. Uh, and uh, this is uh, how to how our majority of our customers do uh, do that. In general, test trigger is end-to-end uh, -end testing system. So let's therefore do Amazon uh, as an example. Open Amazon.com and let's sign out. Uh, to have similar experience, copy URL. Uh, let's create an Amazon test suite. You might be willing, uh, willing to set up username and password, and we will just generate one test. Okay, of course, we already have that. All right, so we have created a, a new Amazon test and let's um, create some simple tests uh, and then we will extend it completely arbitrarily. So let's go in here and type, oh, I don't know, um, PS5, how about that? Uh, and we'll click on PS5 console. And we'll click this one. It's completely ridiculous that it cost that much. Um, then we will click add to cart. We're not going to buy anything. All right, let's stop that. Stop. And uh, as you can see, uh, here we are performing the steps. And I didn't send the this. And let's make it a little bit shorter. Just like that. And call it. Um, and so, yeah, by console. So, and call API. And we will be calling API in a second. I add and run. So this is our test, it's kicking off. Okay, great. So this uh, test is pure UI steps test. It's, well, it's not even a test because it doesn't have any validations, it's just a sequence of some steps in the UI. However, that is not uh, what we're looking for. Let's find some open API. You can just play with it. Uh, what I did, as you can see, I just Googled uh, sample API online, and there's free fake API. Okay. And we have this post API, right? Mm -hmm. For example, however, this is one way to do it. Uh, another way to do it is uh, you can go to resources and you could go to documentation. And remember, documentation is uh, your best friend all the time. And you just click on that and uh, you can search com command F, control F, depending on what OS you use. Search for API and voila, as you can see, API testing here on the left. Let's go there. And as you can see here, there's a lot of different things we can do. But most importantly, what I want to, to point out here today is that vast majority of our commands uh, have examples. This is exceptionally important. Uh, so there are links to examples, which uh, we, uh, as in test trigger, have created for you. So it will be a little bit easier for you to, to see how it works in a little bit wider context. Not well, 
not that much wider. So this this is uh, as trivial, trivialistic as it possibly can get. Uh, but uh, there is an example here which uh, which actually works, and you can basically steal that that example in here. And we also have some using some dummy API. Um, so we can do that. I just copy paste the good advantage of these particular examples is they work to the point of, of us pointing you to a, a public test suite which contains this test is because this test have executed and ran and you can copy paste it and it will run so this is why we, we're doing that so you can uh, look into actually working examples and mind you, you can uh, you can find more. So you can always go to resources, uh, sample tests, <clears throat> and you get into uh, basically tests for all the people who have chosen to create a, a public open source account. They open sourcing all of their stuff intentionally, so you can uh, look into all different stuff. Uh, what we're doing and you can search for example if did somebody do amazon and i'm not sure it doesn't look like it anyway so no amazon sorry uh, oh there you go it just took a little bit of time so there's a bunch of stuff which is uh, testing something in amazon you can steal from those examples as well. All right. Um, so for but for for us, uh, let uh, let's struggle a little bit, and uh, let's copy an example from from documentation, and then modify it a little bit. So let's go ahead and uh, copy this example. This is. Uh, this doesn't pass, pass any dynamic parameters, more or less static. static. Let's copy that. Uh, like this is our test, edit it and paste it in here. So now um, we don't need a parameter, parameterized stuff because we'll be calling basically static API. So we'll just paste API in here. However, you do want to actually construct your uh, uh, URLs, uh, which you call APIs to that start with home prefix. Why is that? Uh, what home prefix is in the first place? So home prefix is uh, um, uh, first a protocol and domain. So if you have something like a long URL, like uh, this HTTPS, Amazon.com, cards, smart card, blah, 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 uh, the home prefix would be this part. It's a protocol and domain. Uh, why we even bother and we extract this is because uh, we want our customers to be able to reuse uh, this test suite on different environments and different endpoints. For example, if you have created test suite on staging environment, and then you want to run on every commit on different dynamically allocated dev environment, which appear every time you uh, create a commit, you can do that. Uh, just overriding uh, your URL, landing URL once uh, uh, if you use home prefix. So this is why it is, it is so important in, and it is in documentation. However, in this uh, stupid example, we will just use this. Uh, this is pretty standard that we use uh, account in time at uh, accept as application JSON. Uh, and then I think it is actually get, and there is no body therefore. And however, uh, let's uh, let's get the content of it. 
Uh, so this will get the whole content. However, uh, uh, there is another interesting trick. And again, it is in documentation. Uh, it's called JSON path. Uh, I'll get into that in a second, but point being is you'll be able to extract certain part from JSON path. And uh, like in this particular case, let's do um, uh, um, I don't know title of a second uh, of a second uh, element in here. Title will be this. Okay. So I think it is likely I have to you know, consult documentation on JSON path now. So if, uh, here, as you can see in API testing, is a JSON path link. It goes to documentation of JSON path in here. Um, and it talks about JSON path, but uh, you know what? Like, let's, uh, the good thing about it is this, uh, uh, you can test your JSON path or as a, another place where you can just play with it and uh, you can paste your own JSON path and we will try to just get this title so um, we'll time this oops and that is not what uh, we were i was expecting just like much longer okay so i think it's got the third one so I assume it starts indexing with zero. So what we need, we need second, we have to use one. Okay, voila, this is exactly what we need. Uh, we copy this and say we want this uh, second title, basically save it as title. And then we can do the validation. Uh, check that stored value title itself is um, here true and we need this. We want to make sure that we're getting this value. I mean, this is a dramatically uh, stupid test, but uh, it illustrates several things. There are several things here uh, we are illustrating. So number one, API call. Uh, uh, number two, we're uh, using uh, JSON path and saving it as a title. And number three, we're doing validation. Moreover, its self part is exceptionally important because as soon as you're not specifying itself, it uses that value to find something on the page. So the default behavior is working with your page or mobile screen. So if you didn't specify itself, it would basically go ahead and find it uh, on, on the screen and uh, try to get value of it. Uh, if you're specifying itself, it meaning that don't go anywhere. We just need the value of this title. That's it. All right, let's update and retest. And drum roll. It shouldn't take too long. It was 37 seconds last time. Okay. Here we're getting into our console and adding to the card. Great. And now we are calling API and validating the title. So another last thing I would like to show, show you is uh, where do you get the data? So how do you know with this API returned? 
Uh, so if you click more details, there is this show extra info button. And uh, you see API call response. It always printed in here. And uh, there is also stored value is set to this one. So you have both. You always have the full API response for all your API calls. Just, just in case you are in doubt uh, and you want to make sure you're actually getting calling the right API, you're getting the right response, there's not errors and all this kind of stuff. Uh, and of course, all the stored values which you extract is, uh, is over. Uh, and of course, the validation uh, succeeded because as we have seen, the title is exactly what we needed. Because once again, so we, we looked into this JSON pass documentation and we opened up this uh, place where you can play with your JSON path expression. We copy pasted the, the result and we played with it. Uh, you can learn how to play with it in this documentation right, right here. Uh, and uh, construct construct your stuff and see, see how it works. If it doesn't work, if you're missing something, it will give you some error. Oh, it didn't, oh my God. All right, so how do we try to break it? That is very stable. Anyway, so here, as you can see, this one is clearly broken and uh, you, you'll see that your, um, uh, your JSON path expression is, is broken. So JSON path is like XPath or uh, XML or, or HTML, but it is have been built for JSON to extract data for your JSON results. All right, and uh, this is it uh, for, for this presentation. Please questions. So what are browser types of API that you can work with? Great question. We go back to the documentation, go to API testing. Uh, as you can see here, so there are different uh, types of uh, HTTP API calls of these examples for each of them. Does anybody um, else have questions? You can put them in the chat. All right. Is um, do you have anything else to add, Artem? Otherwise, we'll wrap up and. Um, in two weeks from now, in June, we'll be having the next session. Uh, no, I think this is it. Uh, I've walked through main points. I think that should be enough for people to continue exploring on their own. Good luck with your uh, API testing and do let us know if you have any questions or something didn't work as you would expect.